hello everyone this is going to be short but interesting video about uh, cool tricks in power query uh, we have five tricks for you today so let's start it let's get started so these are the tables that we will be working on with today they're pretty simple so let's go and let's head and uh, load one of them to the power query editor and now the first trick is about filtering so let's say that you want to filter cameras from this table the usual way most of us do do this is by going to the triangle in the upper right part of the, of the category name and then drop down and now select computers and this is how most of us do the filtering but what can what we can also do and this is something that is quite useful especially if we have long names is that we can simply right click on the cell value and then we have this filter and we can choose to equals. This, this kind of filter works not only with uh, text values, but also with numbers. So for, for instance, if we want to filter only values that are above 864, we can do right click on it. We have number filters and then we can choose greater than. Uh, the other thing about uh, filtering, after we do text filter equals computers, uh, if we want to make it case insensitive, what we can do, we can add text dot proper upper or uh, lower before the name of the column that we want to filter upon. So after we do this text proper, we see that now both uppercase and uh, both proper case and lower case computers gets get filtered. So this is the trick number one. The trick number two is about uh, opening another Excel file while we are still, still in Power Query of, uh, of uh, the current uh, instance. So for instance, let's say that we are inside of this Power Query and we wish to open another Excel to observe some other tables. There is no direct way of doing it. We have to go to close and load, close and load two, uh, or is it? What we can do, we can do hold alt key and then right click on the excel icon and then click on excel while holding alt key until we receive a message do you want to start a new instance of excel if we confirm we will open a new instance of excel in which we can open another excel file and navigate in it just as a native options excel have has so for instance we can even open multiple power queries from multiple instances. So what we can do, we can do table from data range. And now we have two instances of power query opened simultaneously. So this is pretty cool feature, especially if we need to check some tables or some structures in another Excel file before bringing it into with power query. So this is our second trick. Now let's move on to the third trick and this is about uh, merging. So let's say that, let's go and close and load two, only create data and now let's load the second table. Let's go to data from table range. So now we have two tables and we wish to merge, merge them, but not by a single column, but by multiple columns. And this is achievable with merge option. So let's go to merge queries and instead of sing, uh, selecting just a single column, we can select multiple columns and then we can choose another table and we can also select multiple columns. Now the four trick is about making this case insensitive and we can do this by using the fuzzy matching, matching to perform the merge. And after we select it, we can open the fuzzy matching options and select the similarity threshold or set the similarity threshold to one or to 100%. So this and while still having the tick on ignore case. This means that we will still use the 100% similarity, but we will choose to ignore case sensitivity. And after we confirm, we will receive this new table and let's open all those columns. And we can see now that Contoso computers with lowercase it was successfully merged with Contoso computers with uppercase. Uh, now let's remove these two columns 
And the last trick, trick number five, is about adding a custom column. So let's add a custom column, which will be called sales, sales amount. And this column equals to sales quantity times sales amount. Or let's go total amount. Let's call it total amount. Total, oh, come on. Total amount. And this is sales amount multiplied by quantity. So after we confirm, we get this nasty ABC123 or unstructured column type. And what most of us do is they click on it and then they change it to decimal number. But we can skip this step, uh, step simply by adding an additional argument to the each function. So let's add additional argument and we will call, uh, we will write this as a type number. So this feature skips us uh, that additional step that most of the time just uh, uh, makes makes uh, noise in, in the Power Query script. So yeah, these were the five tricks. Uh, I hope you find them insightful. And if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or if you want to share some of your tricks, please post it down below in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.